What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Lawn Surgeon. Now as you can see I'm sitting on the ground beside the lawnmower so it bothers me and something happened. Yep, but it's the same thing that always happens. Well I don't say always happens. This is the This is the second time that the drive belt has come off my Mustang. And the first well it's the third time, but the first time it came off it was because it was ripped. The second time it came off was because I didn't, I don't think I put it back on properly. This time it just came off again. <laughs> but I'm going to show y'all what's going on. It's easy to do. You just have to know what you're doing. So hopefully if y'all got time masters or whatever and this happens to y'all, this video helps. So let me show y'all what's going on. Alright. So there's four main pulley wheels that the drive belt goes on and you see right here let me get this to focus this is my drive belt and you see it's not on anything but see this main pulley wheel right here that's that one and there's this one right here I don't know if y'all can see that yeah this one that pulley wheel right there which is the main problem and this this pulley wheel has a spring on it you see that spring right there and see that's what we're going to be taking off and it will make this job a whole lot easier but I'm going to show you all the other two wheels <coughs> on each side there's two fan wheels and these fan wheels uh, they're on both sides. I'm not sure why they have fan blades on them, but yeah. So, the first thing you want to do is get that spring off. That's the spring I was talking about. Get this spring off, and it's going to make this a whole lot easier. Alright. Now, if y'all can see, all I did was take a, a vice grip. I had to use put the camera down because I had to use two hands. Put that vice grip on there. And um, I pulled the spring and I disconnected it from this pulley. And the reason you want to do that, this is, I guess, what you call the tension pulley. This pulley is what creates the tension and puts the ten belt tension on the rest of the um, wheels to create the drive. So, now that we have that, what you want to do is you want to line the belt up and the reason I do take the spring off is because it allows you to get the belt around the pulleys better so I need to put the camera down and do that again all right I'll be back all right so it ripped again I don't know if y'all can see that rip hey right there you all see it a nice little rip so ripped again <sighs> so it's a whole long process of taking this all apart which I really don't feel like doing so I'm thinking about just like seeing if I could push this onto my trailer and then um, <laughs> and then finishing the yard with my time master so I could do this at home. Because there's a whole bunch of riffraff I gotta take apart to get this thing off. Anywho, uh, I'll figure it out. Ah. <sighs> 
and if this day couldn't get any better starting to rain while I'm trying to fix this dropout and I was cutting the neighbor's yard up the street I still need to weed eat her yard and I still got to finish cutting his yard so now I'm gonna try to push my time master up here and then I'm gonna at least go finish cutting the other lady's yard that's how my life goes all right yeah Friday, the freaking uh, drive belt came off. You can still see it off under there. And I don't even know where all the parts are. I thought I left them in here. I must have put them in the van. Because I took the spring off. I'm going to need that. But what I'm about to do is I'm about to continue uh, taking the belt off. I got to remove some pieces. And then, um, uh, I gotta go to the Lowe's and get a new belt. So. Alright, there's the culprit. Like I said before, I've changed this belt before. 
You just take it off and I go get a new one from Lowe's. <sighs> so that's what I'm about to do. So I can continue my cutting. I haven't even cut my yard. My yard looks horrible. I haven't even got a chance to treat my backyard. That's how crazy it's been. But, hey. My yard will be looking tip top in no time. Anywho, let me get the lows. All right, so after 20 minutes of looking, maybe even 25, I finally found the belt because apparently people like to pick up the belts off the shelf and then put them in random places. And then some of the belts were even, like I found the parts number that I needed, but the belt inside the packaging was the wrong belt. Like somebody then took it out and switched the belts out. So I'm like, what in the world? And then when I finally did find the belt, right, I took it up to the front and it didn't even have a barcode on it. So I had to go back, find the label, and then get them the parts number or store number or whatever. And then I come outside and um, <clears throat> I can't find the spring because I was going to put it on in the parking lot. But apparently I can't find the spring. So I'm hoping that I left it over the customer's house, which I'm going back to finish now. So hopefully I left the spring laying in the yard. Probably got rained on. Hopefully it didn't get rusted. But um, yeah, that's how my day's going. <laughs> Anywho, it's already 10.30. I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish this up and keep it moving. Yes, sir. There it is. Nice and rained on. But let me push this bad boy off. It gets the going. All right, just a note for you guys. When you're putting a belt on, there's a wide side, then there's a smaller side. See the smaller side? The smaller side is the inside. Just in case y'all put it on the wide side. So I got it all on. That's a new drive belt. The hardest thing about this is getting it about on and off because you might have to take off some wires and stuff. That's what I had to do. And some bolts. But once you get it on, and you get that spring on that bad boy, then you're good to go. So let me see if I can get y'all a good shot of me putting the spring on. Let me get to it. All right. As you can see, I tied this uh, string to the back of the pulley. I'll get it in the shot, there it is. And then what that does is, it, it starts off a little tension as you're trying to get the spring on. And if you need more tension, I'll just pull it you know, try to get it closer to the spring. That way, you know, it's kind of hard to do three things at one time, so, yeah. So, let's see if we can get this back going on here. All right. Spring is on. 
job, that looks good. Let's get the rest of it hooked up.
Oh, oh, oh.